love racing. It's my favorite part of one of my favorite parts of snowboarding. And I didn't even know I was going to be competing in World Cup until about 10 days ago. And I got a text message from my coach. And he said, hey man, do you want to race in Italy? And uh, I'm a plumber. I was supposed to be renovating a bathroom. That got canceled. So snowboarding's a lot more fun than plumbing. My normal week is not normal. Um, I started my own business in 2009 and I was doing this one man plumbing thing, just kind of trying to get some money to fund my hobby of snowboarding. And uh, 2020 was a messed up year for everybody, me included. The pandemic cost me a lot of money and uh, I kind of painted myself in a corner. So I made my business a lot bigger than plumbing. I'm doing general contracting and interior design and I'm renovating bathrooms and kitchens and snowboarding at night. And I thought I was gonna be done competing in World Cup, but uh, I can't get enough of it. So I'm still trying to find that balance and when I'll figure it out, I'll let you know. One of my favorite parts is competing. Um, and being one of the older guys on tour, I think the, the grind has lost its appeal a little bit. I, when I say that, I mean like the training and, and, uh, and, and riding these training courses all the time. I, I kind of looked in the mirror last year um, and it was a heavy year. Uh, my mom died, I had some problems at home, and uh, I, I really had to find what I really wanted in snowboarding. I love the racing aspect, I love riding pow, and I love riding park. The whole, the whole spirit of snowboarding is so fun to me. And um, I've been racing World Cup since 2005, I think. And I've done everything. I've done half pipe World Cups, big air, and border cross has been my bread and butter. There are so many differences in racing uh, in my, my 15 year doing World Cup. Uh, I think the biggest difference is the talent pool. Um, it is so deep, everybody is so fast, and so just to, uh, to qualify is a, a challenge right now. You can see today we had world champion Mick Deardorff, Nick Baumgartner, who's a legend, myself. We got a little bit of wind, a little bit of snow, and we're going to watch tomorrow. Um, you know, sometimes you get unlucky with the weather, but you're racing against the fastest guys in the world, so I'm going to ride Pau today and tomorrow and get in the gate Sunday and hopefully get back in the box. Like anything, with progression, it's going to get more serious. Um, but there are a lot of riders out there that, that keep the, what I say, the spirit alive, um, th that don't take it so seriously. You see guys like Itzy Hammerlay, who's the fastest snowboard in the world right now, but that guy knows how to ride every aspect. That He was learning double courts. He grew up in Montefont. He's still shredding pow. Uh, and it's... Uh, to, to each their own, I suppose. It, the young guys, I see them beating themselves up, and I was riding up in the trailer with one of the younger Americans, who's 21 years old. And if you're gonna race board across or any competitions, you have to be a masochist. You have to realize you're gonna get your ass kicked and, and really enjoy the journey of the whole thing. Um, you know, like I'm okay having a beer in Italy and riding pow and, you know, maybe not placing how I want, but I'm gonna, you know, get back on the horse Sunday and, and hopefully ride my heart out. If it goes well, great. If not, the worst thing I did was snowboard. I'm also trying to recruit some of the better riders I know to get to Alaska in March and April because uh, my favorite part of snowboarding is, is riding pow. I've been to Alaska four or five times so far and it's life changing. It's, it's something that every snowboarder needs to do. It is no fall zone steep. Uh, I think the coolest part of Alaska with the terrain there is you only see 10 meters in front of you and it's horizon. It's 10 meters valley floor, everything rolls over. So being confident in your abilities, your line selection and keeping the board under your feet is key. If you fall in Alaska, it's, uh, it could be lights out. But I think something that every snowboard cross racer has in common is that balance to, to ride that line between being in control and, and testing your abilities, making sure you're riding uh, 100%. If you're 99%, you're not, you're not gonna kill it.